In this lesson, I'm going to discuss how you can add an external mail merge and external telesales call as a campaign activity. The best place to start is at the beginning. So I'll put the usage of the email marketing activities in the context of the setup of a simple campaign. Once you've clicked the new campaign button, you can enter the details of your new marketing campaign. Each of the fields that are shown on this screen are discussed in the documentation. It is, however, important to note that the fields, any of the fields on this screen, can be extended. New fields can be added and business rules can be implemented using field and table level scripts. For a further discussion, about this, there are a number of community articles, including one on customizing campaigns and marketing features, which might be of interest. But once the campaign has been saved, the first campaign wave or phase can be added. The new campaign phase or wave details then needs to be entered. This screen, like any of the main marketing screens, can also be customized. And once the wave has been added, the actual wave activity or wave item is then added in to the system. The setup of the wave activity allows the action to be chosen. It is on this screen that you can choose the behavior that is to be invoked. It's important to remember that the exact behavior of the activity is under your control especially if you have changed Sage CRM to use the graphical workflow for campaigns and marketing. And for more background information about that, you'll need to have a look at the e-learning lesson, Graphical Workflow for Marketing. This lesson is discussing two activities, external mail merge and external telesales. These activities are actually very similar as they both use the same underlying workflow action and result in either a CSV, Excel CSV, or text file being created that contains the output details of a group. The logic for this export within the marketing campaign is that the data is then passed to an external organization to fulfill a marketing task. In the graphical wave item workflow, you can see the definition of the rule create file for external use. These two activities, external mail merge and external telesales, ultimately both use the same workflow action, export file to group. The chief difference is one of the value held within the field wait type and you can see the JavaScript expression that is defined here valid equals wait type is equal to external telesales or wait type is equal to uh, external mail merge if either of those are the case then they both carry out the same action this all means that these two types of wave activity are both essentially the same they use the same workflow action to export the data from the group. The workflow action, when you come to use it, allows a group to be picked for export. The group can be a custom group and can either be static or dynamic in nature. There is an e-learning lesson available called Creating and Using Groups of Records that provides background information about the definition of custom groups. The details of the export can be recorded within the shared documents to confirm what was exported and when it was done. The columns added to the group content when the group was defined determines the columns that are included as the data is exported. 